conversation ads are one of the more unique ad formats on LinkedIn because as the name says, you can have a conversation with your potential customers. And now LinkedIn's taken it one step further and you can retarget people based on the engagement they've had in those conversation ads. So in this video, we wanna walk through a quick recap of how conversation ads work and then walk you through the retargeting options you have based on that engagement. As I mentioned, I want to start with a quick recap of what conversation ads are. They are aptly named because LinkedIn says that they allow you to start conversations with users on the LinkedIn platform. They can be sent from a company or a LinkedIn member profile, and they will show up in the messaging portion of LinkedIn. So they are native to the LinkedIn platform. They won't show up in any of the external LinkedIn network placements. It'll only be in the messaging portion of LinkedIn. You can let your user click multiple different call to action buttons that will drive to your landing page, or they can open a lead gen form and you can get more engagement by sending people to another message. So there's lots of different options you have to create an engaging conversation. If we scroll down just a little bit, this is kind of a preview of what it would look like. Message goes out with some call to action buttons down at the bottom. This tell me more will correspond to the user clicking the tell me more button. And then based on that, we have a new follow up message and some additional calls to action. If we scroll down just a little bit more, you can see that conversation ads are charged based on a cost per send model, and they can be used with a handful of different objectives, whether it's brand awareness, website visits, engagement, lead generation, or website conversions. There are some limitations based on the number of call to action buttons you can use for certain objectives. If you're using a lead gen form or not, we won't go that far into the weeds for today. If you want to learn more about that, you can check out the video around conversation ads at the top of the screen right now. But for now, I want to give a quick refresher of what building a conversation ad looks like in LinkedIn. We're in our paid media pros LinkedIn ads account. And rather than going through a campaign setup, to show you the builder process for a conversation ad, I'm actually gonna do a little bit of a cheat. I'm gonna come over to assets, go down to conversations, click on the first example that Joe put together, because I just wanna give you a little bit of an insight to what the back end of this looks like. So here you get to choose your sender. We just have us, and Joe is currently the sender of this message. There's then a subject line that will show up at the very top when you see a conversation in your messages. And then we can already see the conversation details below. But if I click next step, the builder on the left is gonna change. And now we can see where you can write in the text that will show up at the top here. We then have the image file down below. And then if we continue scrolling here, we can start to see the call to action buttons that Joe has set up. So I will go ahead and get ahead of all of you. The discount code that we're gonna show in this does not work anymore. You can still purchase the lead generation class, but it's no longer on sale. So in this instance, we have a message where Joe is introducing himself, introducing the lead gen course and teasing a discount. This is one of the good options that you can use for a conversation ad. And then based on the response, we can either have somebody see a message, which if we click on the edit response button, they will then see this message where it says, here's a link to the course and there's the discount code. And that's what the option would look like over here. But if we go back, scroll down back to the bottom, if the user clicks visit course page, they'll be sent to a website, which is gonna be Paid Media Pro's Lead Generation Masterclass. And one of the cool things is, as you are trying to figure out what the flow is, you can either click the specific buttons over in the preview, and it will show you what the next step will look like, or you can use this view flow chart option up here at the top and see what the different steps are gonna be based on the follow-up. If for whatever reason we wanted to add more call to action buttons underneath the person who wants to get the discount code, all we need to do is click add another button. You can then add a text and then choose whether you want them to go to a next message or send them to a website. All of this will help you when you're trying to create your remarketing lists for your conversation ads. And since that's what this video is about, let's go ahead to the audience manager and start to build a conversation ad remarketing audience. I'm gonna head up into the plan section, go to audiences, then we'll come over here to create audience. And then down in the retarget by section, we're going to choose conversation. And now this is the main builder we have for LinkedIn conversation ads remarketing. You get to name your audience just like you would everything else. Just as we always talk about on this channel, make sure you give your remarketing lists names that make sense so that you'll know what they are later and not just retargeting list one. And then the next thing we get to choose is how the user engaged. There are only two options, so it is a bit limited. You can either create an audience of people who opened a conversation or people who clicked on any call to action within the conversation. 
And this is the reason I went back and showed how the conversation flows are built, because there's quite a big difference between somebody who just opens a message and somebody who clicks on one of the calls to action, especially since these show up in your LinkedIn messaging inbox. And I think a lot of time people get a lot of spam messages and they barely even open them in the first place, let alone click a call to action. So this is likely a pretty high value audience that you can then remarket after they've taken these actions. So for now, I'm just gonna choose that option. You then get to decide how recently they engaged. All of the same regular templates apply for LinkedIn ads there. 30, 60, 90, 180, or 365 days. And then you get to choose which campaigns the user came from. Now, I think this is a really important detail if you have multiple different conversation ads running and multiple different calls to action or personas that you're trying to reach. If you're using the same conversation across all of your campaigns, you likely probably just wanna retarget everybody and include everybody in the same list so you can retarget them again. But if you have certain audiences broken out by persona, or if you have a much more valuable call to action in one campaign versus another, you might wanna make separate remarketing lists so that you can speak to each of them specifically. In the example that we gave here, there was a discount code in the conversation ad for the lead generation course. Maybe we wanna follow up with those users and make sure that they know that the promo code will end on a certain date or let them know if it's been extended or if there's a new discount or a new offer. We could also follow up with them if there's potentially a new course being launched and we think that somebody who was interested in the previous lead generation course might be interested in the next one. No matter what the different segmentations are, if you've got to group all of your campaigns together, if you've got lots of different granular audiences you can use, we definitely encourage you to take advantage of the remarketing list based on conversation ads, because quite frankly, as we've said before, LinkedIn is just an expensive platform. And if you're gonna drive the initial engagement, make sure that you're following up on that and converting the user further down the funnel and keeping that relationship with your brand, not just letting them go based off of only one interaction. I know this video is a little shorter, but we wanted to put together a dedicated video since this is a new option that LinkedIn has. We think it's highly valuable to use in your campaigns if you're using conversation ads. If you have any additional questions about this remarketing audience, conversation ads in general, or anything else on the LinkedIn platform, leave us a note in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.